Hey Siri, turn on LED. Okay, the LED is on. Welcome you all to my YouTube channel. This video I am going to discuss about encoding and decoding techniques with Arduino. So uh, basically encoding and decoding means uh, the technique we use uh, convert data into another uh, type of data. It's, it's mean uh, uh, for transmitting and storing purposes. Uh, so basic base uh, 64 uh, techniques the algorithm we use uh, for converting our data to another data format. Uh, and there are several uh, data conversion algorithms available, encoding algorithms and decoding algorithms available. So uh, today I am going to uh, talk about base 64 encoding. So uh, first I do an example uh, encoding and decoding with online tool uh, called base24encode.org. So uh, this is the way uh, the encoding and decoding works. So I convert hello world as a string. So you can encode this using a base 64 algorithm. You can see here the encoded test. It has show like this. Uh, so you can decode this uh, this string. So you can see here original text is hello world, uh, which appear. Actually, this is how the encoding and decoding work. So it's convert a data to another data format using an algorithm. So uh, we'll see how we implement the base to base 64 encoding and decoding in our Arduino project or with ESP module or with Arduino base microcontroller. Uh, right, first you need to download uh, base 64 uh, library for your Arduino ID. So this is the base 64 Arduino library. So I will uh, put the GitHub link on uh, my description line so you can download it uh, uh, using this uh, link uh, and once you download it uh, you can open your arduino id uh, and uh, install it using uh, sketch include library uh, add dot zip library and browse your download file and uh, it is installed to your arduino id uh, right, uh, once you download and install Base64 library to your Arduino ID, so first you need to uh, include your Base64 library. Right, uh, then the uh, my setup function. So first I initiate the uh, serial monitor uh, and I put some serial print line. Uh, this is for Base64 example. And this is the line for uh, encoding your text. First you need to assign your string to a char array and you need to get the length of array I mean your length of uh, the string and uh, and this line uh, is a uh, then use this function for uh, get encoded length of your uh, length uh, and uh, store it in a encoded uh, char type array called encoded and this is the function uh, we use to encode our test. You need to pass the length array encoded and your input uh, char array uh, and the input length and the size. Uh, once you call this base64 encode function using these uh, parameters, you can get the uh, encoded text as a encoded. Now you can, in this line, uh, we, we will use to print the encoded test. And uh, how is decode? So actually this is the uh, encoded text for uh, hello world. Uh, first you need to store in a char array and uh, you need to get the uh, integer length of the uh, string or the char array length and use the uh, base64 decode length uh, use char array and the uh, input length and uh, get the uh, decoded 
decoded length to the uh, array called decoded and use base64 decoded function to decode your uh, string and uh, this line will be print your decoded string right once you uh, write this code actually this is a sample uh, sample one so you can uh, use the, this code for uh, starting the encoding and decoding so i will put this in, in my description line so once you run uh, write it so you need to compile it and upload it to your uh, microcontroller right uh, and you can uh, see in your serial monitor uh, these this four basin 64 example and the hello world is encoded as uh, this string and uh, we decode this string and you will get as a your uh, original text so actually this is all about uh, how the base 64 encoding uh, and decoding work in it, working with arduino so hope you guys understand and subscribe my youtube channel to get about uh, more uh, iot related development uh, and the programming session thank you very much